Okay, an overview on how to use the slices. Um, space bar will move you between slices. Also tab will do that. Um, <clears throat> and very helpful to zoom in on certain parts of the slice to sort of see, see a little closer, see what your points are doing. Um, you can move the slice with your arrows, arrow keys, or you can do the same thing over here. You can zoom in, zoom out. I'll kind of get your, your thing. We have a spot check which takes away all the points and gives you just a quick look at what, you know, the slice without any points. Zoom fit will bring you back to the original size. Um, and adding points and slices are just like any other point. You just click on the, the curve and add a point. Um, similarly, when you remove one, remove a point and do that. And always to get back to where you were, you can undo and everything's the same. Um, as you can see, this board has a little bit of concave in it. Um, that's kind of controlled here and you can see also we have an above above zero and and so this is the zero point right here this blue is is defined as zero zero and so if it's if it's kind of above that you're kind of in a v situation below that you can get your concave this is getting pretty extreme but you can sort of see how you may want to do certain things um, point movements also you can still use the keys so A gets you around clockwise and if you want to use your arrow keys and go ahead and do that S moves you between the points the tangents and the main point and gets you along there to add a new slice so let's say we're going to add a slice right about here in between this slice and this slice um, relatively new feature on 2.1.4 and and after would be when you add a slice and let's put one at let's say two feet um, two feet from the tail we'll, we'll get a slice here now this red line is is what what your slice would look like as per what we call the intermediate slice um, this is I'm holding on the shift key and, and I'm hanging on to the left button and this is how your board sort of looks um, in this particular slice you have a copy of your closest slice which would be this slice which is the black line and then the red line would be how your board is supposed to be at that at that area so you could come in and sort of tweak if you want it to be exactly like like it then you could sort of go ahead and, and do that um, and you can, you can kind of see, you know, if you wanted to make an exact copy, which in most cases you probably won't, but you probably want to make something very similar. So that's a new feature on 2.1.4 that has been requested. So, um, And these points over here, you, you're not able to move them. Um, these are fixed to the stringer. Some people like to move them or want to move them, but you can't. That gets that part of the board gets changed over here. And so those are fixed. So in order to do your concaves and your V's, that they happen with the points over here. Um, and here you can kind of see maybe making a sort of hard edged rail you would kind of come come out and you can kind of see how you may want to follow along with that do a little spot check I'm going to hide the original board because it's getting in my way and you can kind of take a look and then that gives you a sense of making sort of a harder rail there. Um, 
there is the option to hitting the plus key now is to make a life size slice. So what people have done before is is um, actually put a template on their screen and then as sorry as a as a slice gets close to the actual real life template on the screen you can actually drag the points to fit that template so that's life slice um, and in the future after this version we are planning on being able to highlight all these points and then move the whole slice up and down in a uniform fashion. Um, I think that's about it for, for the slices. We generally think that less slices are better than, than more um, if you don't need them. So yeah, there you go.